Charlie here. I'm here with Sarah Hendrickson, who is the first ever woman to compete in the ski jump. How cool is that? Yeah, it was an amazing feeling last night, jumping um, as the first ever woman ski jumper with bib number one, and um, it was a privilege to be a part of that historical day. Like, no matter what, this sport will continue forever, and you will always be the first. I mean, how does that feel? Um, it's kind of hard to put into words right now, but definitely exciting. It was amazing atmosphere last night, and um, I'm kind of bummed that to wait another four years to compete like that again. So you're a pioneer. I mean, let's talk about pioneers. This is a huge thing for women, actually. So what other women in entertainment do you look up to? Um, entertainment, I'm not sure. I guess um, on the sports side of things, like Shannon Barkey, like, yep. she's an amazing mogul skier. And um, I know her kind of personally, so just how outgoing and positive she is in life is really inspiring. Great. So let's talk about what you're a fan of back in Hollywood. I hear you're a really big fan of a certain band. Who would that be? Imagine Dragons? Yeah. Yeah, definitely a fan of them. Taylor Swift. Um, I don't know. Guilty for all those, but uh, they get me amped up and ready for the competition. Great. I want to talk a little bit more about Imagine Dragons because we may be getting something for them for you. So if you had a chance to like say something back to Imagine Dragons, what would it be? I just really like how positive their music is. Um, it's I've, I listen to it um, throughout like my World Cup competitions, and it just puts a smile on my face, and um, you know reminds me to enjoy what I'm doing because that's really what's important. Have you ever been to one of their concerts? I haven't. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. so if you got an invite, you might definitely go. Yeah, I, they came to Salt Lake um, in I think November, and I couldn't go, and I was super bummed out. Cool. Yeah, what's your favorite song by them? Top of the world. Can you give us a couple lines? No, please, no, please, no, please. Not a singer yourself. No. But why, why that song? Because Top of the World sounds like an Olympic type theme yeah. song. Is it motivating to you? Is it on your playlist? Absolutely. I mean, it's kind of like a pump up song. You are wanting to win, you're wanting to be on top of the world in retrospect. So, um, what other words would get you amped up for that? So let's just cap that without the question one more time. So my favorite Imagine Dragons song is Top of the World because... My favorite Imagine Dragons song is Top of the World just because it gets you amped up. I mean, when you're competing, you want to be uh, that number one spot. So Top of the World sums it up. Awesome. Um, any other like TV shows you're a big fan of or do you have any celebrity crushes? Um, favorite shows? I mean, I've watched all, like, uh, Gossip Girl, all those. I'm actually a really big fan of Biggest Loser. Um, they came and trained at the U.S. Ski Team Gym this last season, and it's just pretty inspiring what they're doing. And, like, even as an athlete, I look up to them, so that's pretty cool. I had the chance to meet your family, and I think they're the coolest Olympic family I've met yet. How important is it to have them here with you and have their support? Very important. I mean, they were the one that ones that got me started and I would not be where I am today without them. They sacrificed everything to get me here so to have them cheering in the crowd last night meant everything. And I heard a rumor that you might have a little bit of a crush on another athlete. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I apparently Tornier Wallace, um, I have a crush on him but you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just apparently though. Just apparently. Activity. Yeah. What would you do to hang out with the Imagine Dragons? Eat ice cream. You're a big fan of ice cream. Absolutely. That's what's your What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Um, vanilla. <laughs> Do they have it in the Athletes Village? Uh, well, they have McDonald's and they have McFlurries, and I guess there's a Baskin Robbins up in Rosa Couture, so I might hit that up. That was a goal of mine after my event was over. So. Awesome. That's great. And any surprises about being in Russia? Like, is it what you're expecting? There's been a lot of media hype about so many things in Russia, like the a quality issue, all that sort of thing. I mean, do you have anything to say about those subjects? No, I mean, honestly, it's been awesome. I was here um, a year and a half ago, and what they've done is absolutely amazing. They've transformed this place um, for the better. So it's an amazing atmosphere, and my first Olympics, and a great experience at that. Great, excellent. Thank you. So hi, I'm Sarah Hendrickson, uh, first woman ski jumper in an Olympic event, and hi to all my fans back in the U.S.